In shady green pastures, so rich and so sweet, God leads his dear children along. Where the water's cold flow bathes the weary one's feet, God leads his dear children along. Some through the water, some through the flood, some through the fire, but all through the blood. Some through great sorrow, but God gives a song in the night season and all the day long. Sometimes in the valley, in the blackness of night, God leads his dear children along. Sometimes on the mountain where the sun shines so bright, God leads his dear children along. Some through the water, some through the flood, some through the fire, but all through the blood. Some through And all the day long Away from the mire and Away from the clay God leads his dear children along Away up in glory To eternity's day children along. Some through the water, some through the flood, some through the fire, but all through the blood. Some through great sorrow, but God gives a song. And all the day long Some through the water Some through the flood Some through the fire But all through the blood Some through great sorrow song in the night season and all the day long. Yes. Praise the Lord, sister. Can I say something? Yeah. Uh, Thank you, Brother Black. You think she meant what she was saying? I do. Yeah. I was listening. I, I wanted to ask that because of this. I was talking about today that the plumber was God and he had to have some music going. Run to the day of and, uh, you know, that music was going, and I said, uh, I said, that fella, Russ, that's right, that's exactly what he's doing. Yeah. He said, I don't know about that. I said, what do you think he's singing it for me? Right, right. I said, that's exactly what he's doing. Yeah. I don't know about that. I said, well, he wouldn't be telling you about that if he wasn't. Right. If he wasn't running with the devil, he wouldn't be telling you about that. Yeah. Well, he said, I guess you're right. <coughs> well, uh, he, he went to put Johnny Cash on. When he put Johnny Cash on, then uh, I said, well, won't you just put that phone right there of Johnny? 
what he's singing about the ring of fire. Fire? No, not ring of fire. The right or the word of the Lord. What was the name of the song? But anyway, he put it on, and it's about where Johnny Cash turned his heart to the Lord oh. and turned the rain. Anyway, anyway, he had it real loud, then he got real low. But he had to go over and cut that down. He had to go over and cut that down. Well, honey, I didn't hear no more rock and roll like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's no more rock and roll to fool with to worry about then. Right. That's all I had to do. I didn't have to do that. Never. Yes, sir. C convicted him, did he? Yeah. Yes, sir. I have a father who can. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Cut him down. That's what it was. Johnny, uh, the song that Johnny sings, Cut You Down. I just want to say that I thank the Lord for protecting Carson yesterday and it started out to work and the wheel came off his car in the middle of the four lane going 75. And I was thinking when Kendra was talking, every morning when I hear him leave, I ask God to watch over him. But oh, yeah. It's almost become, you know, just a habit. But God's still hearing and He's still Amen, hearing. sister. I'm thankful. Amen. Even when it's just become a habit to me, He's still here. Bless His name. And He still takes care of my family and I appreciate Amen, sister Amy. I can make the world and hold it in my hand. Amen. I can make life Thank you, Lord. I cannot take a piece of clay and mold it into me. But I have a yes, father. I've got a father. I have a father who teaches his house and goods love. And he guides my feet wherever I go. But I don't understand. I don't understand. I have, I have a father. I have a father. I have a father. Bless him, Lord. I could not make a cloud and descend it in the sky. I cannot love humanity so much that I would die. I cannot name the stars or count the grains of. Bless his name. I have a father. Yes. I have a father. They're singing about your father. Amen. 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 Jesus is high. Jesus is high. He looks low. And he guides my feet wherever I go. When I don't understand. Amen. Amen. Bless his name. Hallelujah. Bless his good name. Y'all wouldn't care if we had a little Sunday school lesson, would you? Go ahead. Okay, sir, I don't care. Anybody else don't care? <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord, Paul, don't care. I, did, I like to read this tonight to you. Turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. This, this will be our singing portion. I want you to, I want you to see this. Uh, what the Lord is talking about. And uh, before I do that, I want to tell you something that happened. Uh, I was reading this chapter probably 10 years ago. And uh, never in my life has this ever happened to me. Uh, the Lord spoke to me and told me to go to the dollar store and get a bottle of grapefruit juice. I was getting ready to start a revival on a Monday night. Now, it's one thing for a pastor to have communion service, but it's another thing for evangelists to come in unannounced and not tell nobody and just bring a little old bag in, you know, to do something like that. But I felt like that's what the Lord wanted me to do. 
And whether it was right or wrong, I, I did it. I went and bought me a, um, um, a little old bottle of grapefruit juice and got me some of them little old cups and got me some of them little old crack soup uh, crackers and took them to the revival. What communion does, what it does, it makes a man judge himself. That's the greatest thing about a communion. And a lot of folks says, well, I don't like to take communion because I don't know. You do know. That's right. Yeah, you do. Don't tell me that. You do know. That's right. uh, if you're living right, you know where you stand with God. So if I passed it out right now, would you be ready? If the answer is no, you wouldn't want the Lord to come. I went, I took that, I took that communion down there. It was awkward. I struggled with it. Uh, I struggled preaching that night. Not with the word. The word was right. I'm going to read it to you right here and you'll see for yourself, not me just telling you. You'll see it was right. But you know that meeting that my mom's, my mom's fleshly brother got saved in that very meeting? She'd been praying and fasting for him, begging God to save him. He got saved and just a few years later he died. He got me. He died a saved man. He got right with God. Why? Because God wrought the judgment. God said the judgment must begin at the house of God. Yeah. If it, and if this communion can bring judgment on me and you, so be it. We ought to have it. And, and let's read it here. Uh, verse number 18. This is all right, ain't it? Then we're going to let Brother Paul preach, I promise. He said, first of all, when you come together in the church, that's us. He said, I hear that there be division among you, and I partly believe it. For there must be also heresies among you that which ye are approved may be manifest among you. When you come together, therefore, into one place, this is not to eat the Lord's Supper as a meal, what he's talking about. Right. As sitting down as a, at, at the supper table in the evening time before you come to church. That's not what he's ta talking about. He said, for in eating, this is what happens when a whole church comes to the communion to do that and one man sits down and eats it like supper. He said, for in eating, everyone taketh before other his own supper. And one is hungry and one is drunken. Yeah. So you hear you've got a man that maybe got to the table early. He drunk and was well drunk. Yeah. You got a man that somebody that come by early, he took bread and ate more bread than what he should have ate. And then you got somebody coming in saying, Where's the Lord's communion at? Come on. And there's and he's and he's not got nothing there to do. Amen. <laughs> Y'all with me? Praise the Lord. It's it right in your Bible. Amen. Right in your Bible. Let's, let's read on. He said, verse 22, Have you not houses to eat and drink in, or despise ye the church of God? And shame them that have not. What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. Now, I'm not trying to erase any convictions from nobody. I'm not trying to do that. A lot of folks has got conviction because of these scriptures. They say they don't believe in eating in the church or eating any grounds of the church. Well, we don't eat here in the sanctuary at Antioch. We sure don't. But I've, Mo Sayers is one of them. Uh, he didn't believe we had to back this back Sunday school rooms back here used to be a cafeteria for our kids at our Christian school. He didn't believe in any building, anything connected to the church. No, nobody. And that's fine. If that's a conviction, I'm not trying to, but a lot of that was based on what I just read you yeah. about the Lord's body. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was based on. So they took it, you know, the Lord said, you ought not be eating supper. Don't eat down to church. That's not what it's talking about. It's talking about the Lord's body. 
money right here. It's not talking about a man going to Shoney's tonight and eating a, eating a meal. But if you got that conviction, that's fine. Keep it. I'm not trying to erase it from you by no means. I'm just telling you what the scripture says. He said, when the Lord on that very night, verse 24, when he had given thanks, he break it and said, take heed, this is my body which is broken for you this do in remembrance of me right. so here the Lord is giving them bread and they're taking that bread they're consuming it while it's in their mouth they're thinking about the body of Jesus Christ amen, amen. don't you think that we as a, as a church ought to we don't want to take it uh, so much brother Terry where it becomes habit forming and we forget the meaning of it yeah, yeah. But I don't feel like we take it enough here. I don't. I don't feel like we take it enough here. Amen. Amen. He said, when you do this, verse 23, 25, after the same manner, he took the cup. And when he had supped it, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. So here they took the cup. They turned it up. They was eating the bread. They was thinking about the body. And now they're turning up the cup. They're drinking the cup. And they're thinking about the blood of the New Testament that was shed for the sins of many. Right. The blood and the body, that's what it's representing of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because without that blood, there is no remission. You know that scripture. Without that blood, there is no peace with God. Without that blood, how did they overcome the devil? By the blood of the Lamb. How are we going to overcome? By the blood and children of God. When we drink that blood, we are showing Christ. We're showing his death all over again. Amen. Here in the, in the person of the body of Christ. Let's read on. For as often as you eat the Lord's bread, or as often as you eat the bread and drink the cup, you do show the Lord's death until he come. Now, it ain't every time that I've been in a it, that I've been in a real, real spiritual one. But most of the time, there's a humbling spirit. There's a meek spirit. And I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm going to tell you what it is. When you get in the spirit just right, and you understand the blood, and you understand the bread, you'll feel like you're in Gethsemane right with them. Yeah. You'll feel like you're right there with them in Gethsemane right before he was betrayed in the hands of sinful men. And that's exactly what God wants you to feel. He wants you to re rehearse again that night when Judas came and betrayest thou the Son of Man with a kiss. And they was all going around and he was giving them to them and he said, one of you betray me. They said, who, Lord? Who? Tell us. Who? And then Judas handed him that and said, Lord, is it me? And Jesus said, thou sayest it. In other words, it is. Yeah. Let's read. Y'all with me? It's all right, ain't it? Hey, we love the Bible. If our church don't love the Bible, we ain't no church. We ain't no church if we don't love the Word of God. We love the Word of God. Amen. The Bible said, Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and of the blood of the Lord. Amen. So what makes a man unworthy? That's got to be the answer. What makes a man unworthy to eat the Lord's bread, to eat the body and drink the blood? What is it? It's that same three-letter word that got man kicked out of the garden. It's S-I-N, sin. You can't take of the Lord's cup and eat of his body with sin working in your life. If you eat it unworthily, what the Bible say? You're bringing damnation on your soul. It's serious. You say, that scares me. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to bring fear in your life. I'm just about done. I just, I just want to, y'all was making me doubt the scriptures when I was looking at y'all's faces. <laughs> Amen. I wanted to read them and read them out loud to us. Verse, what, 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 what am I? What, 28. 28. But let a man examine himself. J.D., don't you look at me, and I won't look at you. I won't look at you, Matt Brawley, and say, Matt ain't fit to take that. I won't look at you, Andy, and say, Andy ain't fit to take 
examine himself. Well, what do you examine? Your walk with Christ. Your walk with Jesus Christ. That's what you're looking at. Amen. How do you live? Now, I was telling the brother back here today, there's every kind of denomination in the whole wide world. And, but there's one thing that we get, we, we've got to agree on and know beyond a shadow of a doubt. Pentecostal, apostolic, uh, free will Baptist, independent Baptist, all that. Listen to what Paul says. He said, as I've told you before, I'll tell you again. They that commit such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Fornication, lasciviousness, adultery. He began to give that list. I don't care what clique you're from, what association you're from. If you're committing those sins, if you're walking in those sins, you can forget it. You're not going to make it. And if you're walking in them sins and you take of the Lord's cup, that's why we need to preach on that in Galatians quite, quite more often than we do. And warn men and tell men and women the definition of them words to know what the sin is. Yeah. Forget, forget denomination. It's that list of sins. Whoever's committing them sins shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So if you're walking in them sins and you take of the Lord's cup unworthily, you're hurting. All right. He said, let a man examine himself. That's what happened to my mother. That's what happened to my mom's brother. He felt like an outsider that night. They took the communion. I got two of the boys in the church to hand the communion out that night. They come by him. I just so happened to look at him. He's my mom's brother. I want to see if he's going to take it. He didn't take it. Now, a lot of people don't like that being put on the spot feeling. You wouldn't have liked Paul. Yeah. You wouldn't have liked Paul as your pastor. But you know what it did? It made him see himself a sinner. It made him see himself lost, and he got saved. And just a few years after that, right down the road from that very church, we buried him. He got saved. Just about done. About two or three more minutes. The Bible said, For he examined himself, so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily. Jason, you got fornication. you got lasciviousness. You've got anger. You've got bitter. You've got jealousy. You've got malice. You've got wrath. You've got envy. You've got strife. You got them in your life? You eat of this unworthily? Look at what he said. Eateth and drinketh damnation to himself. Now, I can't damn Matt, Matthew. Now, I can't damn my children. I'm damning myself. Not discerning the Lord's body. Now, why is it like that? Why, why would it be so such a critical... Why would it be such a critical penalty for this? Because Paul, later on in chapter 12, says that me and Matthew are, and Andy, we are all knitted together <coughs> to make up the body. Amen. And when this part of the body has got sin in it, it brings division in the body of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Christ don't want it in his body. Amen. He don't want it in his body. That's right. Amen. I'm going to teach till 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and just see how many will stay here with me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I know you would, Paul. <laughs> Amen. For he that eateth not discerning the Lord. For this cause many are weak and sickly among ye, and then many sleep. What's that mean? That means some of them, God even killed some of them because they didn't discern the Lord's body. They were just living in sin, went in, took the communion like it wasn't nothing. You know, Brother Ricky came from a Church of Christ a background. I'm not against Church of Christ. I'm not against nobody. I'm, on, I'm for the Word. But I went when my wife, her background of her church, uh, her mother, a lot of them was Church of Christ from over in Grundy. And I went to a few services over there before I um, started preaching. And uh, we seen her family that was some of her family that drunk enough beer to drown the fish. And 
flied to the casinos and 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 did all that stuff and gambled and did all of that and brothers and sisters when they brought that communion around i know enough about the bible back then as a young christian i know that wasn't right i saw them very men i saw them very men take that and they and, and the, they said and the preacher they said woe on that preacher for not telling them and explaining to them just hand it passing it out like it's cupcakes to everybody to take no it ain't done that way here no we want you to examine yourself you may die if you do it unworthily you may get cancer yeah what's sickly sick what, I mean, what, what, just start thinking of sicknesses. You may get, amen, heart trouble. You may get this, you may get that. Well, you're trying to scare me. It's a fearful thing. All right. For if we judge, this is one I've been waiting on, then I'm done. If we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. Now, I may have said this the other day to somebody here, maybe sitting in church. I preached so much, I can't remember where I say what. But somebody preached on judgment here the other night. Whoever it was. The Bible said that you and I can have boldness in the day of judgment. Not in an arrogant way to think that we're something, but when you know how you live, you can be like Hezekiah. When Hezekiah was told by Isaiah that he was going to die, he walked in there and turned his face to the wall and said, God, you know how I lived. Yeah. Did he not say that? Yeah. He said, God, you know how I've lived. My ways ain't hid before you. You know how I've lived. Judging yourselves. Judging yourselves. Is that enough, Clyde? Where have you all stopped? 332. But when we are judged, we are chastened by the Lord that we should not be condemned. So the whole world is going to be guilty of the body of Christ. The whole world is. God don't want none of his members in particular that make up the body to be condemned with the world. So what's he want us to be? Chastened? Yeah. Yeah. He wants us to be chastened. And any child without chastisement, is, that's not a cuss word. That's what the Bible says. Yeah. Now, people use it as a cuss word, but you look up what a bastard is, it's an illegitimate child. Yeah. It's somebody that was born out of wedlock. And that's, they, they, and it sounds bad to say it, but there's a lot of bastards in the church. Yeah. They're not born into the family and, and, and they're going on in that same condemnation of this world. So we as the, as the bride of Christ, we that's in the body of Christ, it's a joy for us to be able to look back to that night in Gethsemane and take that drink of that juice and say, thank you, God, for your blood. Makes me want to do it right now. Amen. To take that bread... And eat that bread. Oh, I'm not ready. I, I, I need a little time. That's the chastening of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Y'all love Paul Hess? Amen. How much do you love him? <laughs> Paul, come preach to us tonight. Praise the Lord. Love this preaching man. <laughs> Appreciate the Lord tonight. Appreciate His goodness. Yeah. Cut me down just a little bit. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's good right there. Hallelujah. I appreciate the Lord. Appreciate that teaching, teaching tonight. Hallelujah. Uh, that, 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 is, that is a word. Hallelujah. We, we got we to gotta have, have that tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, tonight to, to have that. But I'm, uh, I, I like that song that, uh, that uh, they, they, they have sung all night. I, I have a father who can. Hallelujah. I, I'm glad tonight that, that I, I, I've got that father. That, that, uh, that, that. I can do do all of that. Hallelujah. I can't. I, I brother, 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 uh, uh, brother JD. I can't. I, I can't put the stars out there tonight and the moon out there and and, uh, put, and count the grains of sand. Hallelujah. But but hallelujah. I know know of one one who who uh, who 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 can. Hallelujah. Have, have your Bible turn with us to Matthew chapter four. Hallelujah. 
Matthew chapter 4. Hallelujah. Tonight, I appreciate the Lord. I, 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 whenever I, I, I left Sunday night, I went. I had to go go to Roanoke and uh, uh, to to the doctor. And I, I, I was, uh, whenever I got to, I, I got me a room and Hallelujah. And I, 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 I said, well, I, I'll take my Bible in and and uh, and uh, study some. And and uh, and uh, whenever I got to, I, I reckon I, I was so tired. Hallelujah. And everything I told that de desk clerk, I just want 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 a room on on the ground. Floor and uh, until I didn't have to have to climb up the steps and and uh, and uh, and uh, she she said I, I, that she had one and so I went in uh, I reckon that whenever whenever I I, I, I laid down I, I I just died out so I didn't I didn't uh, so so much for for the reading reading and reading and studying but uh, but I was coming back down 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 the road uh, uh, Monday afternoon and. and and uh, and this and this uh, came 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 to me. Hallelujah! And the Lord gave, gave me this. Hallelujah! Be, be, uh, ch chapter four, uh, beginning with the, with the first verse tonight. Hallelujah! Then then uh, then Jesus laid up. Uh, uh, then 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 was G Jesus laid up in, in the uh, in the um, then was Jesus led up, uh, uh, up, up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterwards uh, uh, and hungered, hungry. And uh, and when the tempter came to, he, to him, he said, "If thou be the son of, my, uh, son of God, command these stones to be, be, be made bread." Hallelujah. But he answered and said, and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. That's all I want to read tonight. Hallelujah. But, but hallelujah, I want to look back on, on the on, in, 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 in the third, third chapter just a few, just a minute and bring bring up to, to where I'm going to go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was John. Hallelujah. He, 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 he was a, he was a pre preacher. Preaching in the, in the wilderness, Hallelujah! There. Hallelujah! And uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, preaching uh, that 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 uh, that, uh, that, uh, that re re repent for for the for for, for, for the king, king king kingdom of, of heaven is at hand, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And and he'll tell them tell them that thou and and and, and he's baptizing baptizing that thou in Jordan and 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 then the first season and and the third season came. Came, came came along uh, along to the to the baptizing hallelujah hallelujah and and he, he said oh oh generation of vipers who, who who would be who has warned you tonight who would be with who has warned you to flee from the from, from the wrath to come tonight hallelujah and 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 and, uh, and he said he said that, 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 that you need to bring bring your fruits and 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 and, and meet uh, for, 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 for for repentance tonight hallelujah we we, we, we need to give give ourselves self for, for Repentance tonight. That, 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 that's our fruit tonight. Hallelujah. It, 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 it gives no self, 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 self for, for, for repentance tonight. Hallelujah. We, 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 we got to give ourselves. Hallelujah. But Jesus, Jesus he, he don't want nothing but, but, but us tonight. Hallelujah. To, to, to turn ourselves uh, over, over to Him tonight. Hallelujah. He wants us to turn ourselves over to Him tonight. Hallelujah. And, 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 and uh, to, 